Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Well. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. You know you're a part of the what? Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. And if you're not a part of Grateful Gang, we love to have you over here. You know why? Because it's free 99 and it costs you nothing. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're already subscribed and you're not getting notifications, make sure your notification bell is turned on. Over here, we do digital budgeting. You use our A5 for tracking. We do saving challenges, sinking funds, sick, all the jazz. If any of the interest you, like I said, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today, we will be closing out our paycheck number one of April because we get pay this friday so we want to close everything out and get ourselves at a zero based budget so let's go let's go first things first ah tara so i know we're already at a good start because i see all we have left is 19 dollars and two cents baby and 19 dollars and two cents is our buffer so we're already at a good start so i'm going to take this out and make it zero and then i'm going to make this one pink again and then we're going to head over to our bank and we're going to mark off everything that is not in green. The goal here, if you're new here, is for everything in bright, everything that is not bright green to become bright green. That is how we know that we're done closing out that paycheck because bright green means that it cleared our bank account. So let's just go head over to our bank account, which we're already in the right account. So I don't know where I was going, honey. And let's start off with Navy Federal here for a dollar. So let's find our dollar. There's a dollar. It came out. And so now it's going to be, move me over a little bit, it's going to be bright green because that cleared the bank. Then we have $70.67, which is our student loan payment. And it's right there. That also cleared the bank. 233.50 is the first half of our car payment that also cleared the bank. 245.21 was actually a payment we made to our Capital One credit card to pay the credit card off. That was on a, that was when we reconciled our credit card. We do that on a different spreadsheet. We um <clears throat> In order not to confusion myself, I reconcile my credit card on one in my A5 and writing down the transactions and I come and I pay them through the bank account. And then I reconcile everything in my budget, in my budget with you guys on the budget closeout. Because if I try to mix and mingle them, your girl will be, how you say, confusion. And we don't want that. So uh, if you are doing it for the first time, I suggest that you just separate things out until you get better. So I did my taxes. Yay! Taxes are done. You guys, I'm not one of those people who has kids and they have a lot of things to claim or businesses where they can get a lot of money back at tax time. I'm not there. I'm not there. And to be honest, y'all, for you people out there with kids, the money they give y'all back, honestly, is not enough because the amount of money you spend on them kids all year does not amount to the money they give y'all back. It's like a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of what y'all actually spend. So I'm not mad. Like, I'm not mad. I was just grateful this year that I did not owe as much as I owed last year. So this year, I only owed the federal $14. So I have an um, IRS account um, that I transferred the $14. I'm sorry. I took it out of my IRS account, IRS Take Your Money account, transferred $14 in. And I guess I could write in that transfer. So in my rollovers and transfers, I'll put that I put $14 in and I'll leave myself a note. Um, $14 from IRS account, uh, sinking fund to pay Fed taxes. $14, I'll take it, baby. It was almost two, five hundred dollars something like that last year. Woof, baby. And then I took it, and there's the IRS. I paid the IRS. So it basically went in and out. So under other, we'll put there was $14 paid, and that was to the IRS. <clears throat> Where's my notes? All right, and next we have 
all the things. So from all the things, y'all know that all the things honestly couldn't have come at a better time. I've been putting all the little extra leftover money to all the things or to the extra groceries or anything like that, that I feel like I need at that time. And it worked out. I actually pulled out of all the things to pay a few things on the credit card, but I took $20 out of all the things to send to a friend. I'm kind of glad it doesn't say her cash app because I'm not trying to put nobody on blast, but I was just trying to help somebody out. That's the only thing I love budgeting and I love sharing, but sometimes you just want to share or give, do some giving on the down low <laughs> without having to explain it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're just doing it, but I got to tell y'all because y'all going to be like, what had happened? So yeah, I took $20 out. So we'll put that in the, uh, from all the things, that's not how you spell things, uh, sent money cash app to a friend. And so that's that. And then in other, I'm just going to put $20 cash for a friend and I'm gonna make sure I put the $14 here okay plus $20 here all right I don't think I added my there it is plus $20 okay so that's what happened there to get out of all the things to help somebody out and then gave them they did offer to give it back to me but no we're not doing that so then we went into gym vibes and y'all let me know, should I even bother writing these in the budget? Like, should I write them in? Cause they're just going in and out. They're basically clearing each other, but you know, I'm just trying to make sure we allocate for everything. So again, this is another in and out from gym's vibes. Y'all know I like to put a little bit in gym here and there. So in the gym vibes, I put, I took out $8. So I'm going to add that just to the gym which is here. We had, we put 10 away, but I took out 10. I took out eight to pay for a class. So I transferred in eight plus eight. And we're going to say that we paid $8 for Zumba. And let me tell y'all, I am so blessed. Like, it's crazy. Uh, it's so funny. I wouldn't spend the $40 to pay for my Zumba class for the month, but I gave somebody else $20 just to give them. It's the way my brain works. I don't see the correlation till we're talking about it. Like, it's like, well, girl, but it's okay. It doesn't matter to me because guess what? God works in mysterious ways, y'all. I had a talk. I was having a talk with my Zumba instructor this day when I went to Zumba on this Saturday. And I was telling her how, like, I really need to get my blood pressure down and blah, blah, and sign my things. And she was just like... How, by the time we we're done talking, she was like, by the, how about in May, you just pay for the month and you only pay $25. It's normally $40. And I was like, I'm not only going to be able to come Monday and Saturday because your Thursday class, I'm booked and busy on Thursday. She was like, yeah, so just pay $25 for the month. And because she first, she sounded like she wanted to give it to me free. I'm like, you've already done this for me. I don't want to do this. You know, I'm not going to pay nothing. So $25 for the month. What an amazing, how amazing. So I'm going to find that $25. And in May, I'm going for those two days every week in May. I'm so excited. She's so grateful. Like I have such great people in my life. So I think I put all my $8 where they need to be. And then last but not least, we got $4,308. And that was not last but least, that's the water bill that came out. So we have a few things that are not green. Let's go back and see if we can locate them because $25 to the credit card. Let's bring it, bring it back, bring it, bring it, bring it back. Hey, there's $25 to the credit card. Wait, is that the one to the credit card though? Oh, nope. There's $25 to the credit card right there. That was the $25 my sister sent. Here's the $25 to the credit card. Here's the $105 to the credit card for the trash sewer bill because we put it on the credit card. Here is Johnny. Oh, you know, and this $245.21 is the payment to the credit card, y'all, for these two bills. So it's $150.21 plus $95 is $245.21. So this actually is something that needs to clear off this account. Putting things on the credit card is making things a little cray cray, but I will get used to it. And there we go. Now, everything on our paycheck number one of April is green. What is this? Oh, I made that green too. That's our other stuff. I didn't fill it in. Is green. 
Yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay, and so we have $19.02, which is equivalent to what we have here, $19.02. So we will get paid in a couple of days. It's Monday now. We'll get paid on Thursday, although we get paid on Friday, but I get it on Thursday. So I'm going to move this $19.02 out. I believe I'm actually going to put this to household, y'all, because... I was going to put it to all the things, but I'm going to put it to household because I just spent a lot of money in Sam's Club and there's only $50 in household. So this and like some of this is going to go to household or all of this is going to go to household to cover that bill because it was like 150 something dollars. We got we got more paper towel, toilet paper, detergent, water, all the things. OK, so enough talking. Let's transfer 1902 over. So from here to... Household bulk buys. Girl, household ain't got none in it. 1902. <laughs> but it will. It will. Household transfer. Where's my mouth? Success. Oh my God, how long have I been saying success? Like I've been budgeting for a couple of years now. I think I've been saying success. It's just so second nature, <laughs> success. So we're now at $19 and I'm gonna put that, we put that $19 and two cents, was it two cents over in household. We're gonna make that green cause that move has been made. And now you'll see that we have a zero based budget and everything has cleared and we also have zero in our bank account so i will see you back here when it's time for probably thursday or friday when it's time to go ahead and allocate for our paycheck number dos number two and we can get everything rocking and rolling and that's it y'all thank you so much for watching i hope your budget is going very well for april I hope that you are grateful for everything you do have in your life. But thanks for watching. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Oh, wait, guys. Oh, wait. I got a package. <laughs> I got a package. Remember, if you watch my videos, y'all know I have been waiting. I've been waiting for these. Now, look how they... Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look what, how they bend up my paper like this. This is ridiculous. Anyway, I've been waiting for these to come in the mail. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm gonna have to do this on camera because look, it, it's just never mind. Never mind. I'll show y'all another time. Anywho, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Remember, it's faith over fear this year, but not just this year, but what? Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, a, ever, forever, ever, 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 a. Bye! Just hands. Love you, mean it, boy.